everybody and welcome to another video. As you can see today we are back in Train Simulator 2 and we're going to be having a look at the Cornish Main Line which is finally released, thank goodness. Welcome to Train Sim World 2, an immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains from around the world. Can I just say I love that guy's voice. Honestly, there's just something about it. He, he seems so posh. I, I don't know. I don't know. It, it, I love it. I love it. I really do. You've just been awarded some action points. Action points. These are what? displayed in the I top right hand corner of the screen. Now. And count to towards your remember. overall experience. I'm sure somebody will tell me. I can't think what region or It is necessary to be fully observant of the surrounding world. I'm already observing Practice by looking oh, up, okay. down, left and no. right. Once again, no. Besides no, operating no. trains, there are lots of requirements to navigate on oh, foot. Oh. Try moving around uh, now. I am luggage. I am luggage. Nobody will notice here. It's a bit dark, but then again, I've got the uh, whole um, uh, shader thingy for it, the new reflip sort of done, so you know what I mean. Okay, so the difference between that trolley and this trolley is a different colour. Is that, is, that, is that really, really the only difference? Oh, it's literally just showing us where all of the, uh... These are awesome, by the way. I love these. It, like somebody said on Facebook, though, wouldn't it be awesome if you could drive these around the station? I know it wouldn't happen, but that'd be awesome, wouldn't it? This is one of many interactives what do you mean, one to of be many discovered. Interactives? We really had but three. not all of them will be as easy to find as this one. They delayed this thing because of problems. Yeah, okay. Okay, fair enough. Looks like you did a great job fixing the problem. To be perfectly honest with you, I actually don't know what they fixed with it or why it was delayed too much. This a lot of time will be spent operating trains. So when ready, Ooh. sit in the driver's Ooh. seat. No, this actually wasn't a product I particularly cared much for. At the start, I was well hyped for this, especially once we found out we're getting a 150. As soon as I announced it was regional rails, yeah, no, my, my, my excitement just sort of dropped off straight away. Now, it's not that I hate railway heritage by any stretch of the imagination. I love railway heritage. Railway heritage is amazing. I just do not enjoy driving railway heritage at all. It doesn't captivate me, it, like at all. Even a modern train like this, I, I, I can't imagine I'll actually get into it too much because not what I enjoy, sort of thing, you know what I mean? So ever since they sort of announced that, it's like, oh, okay, fair enough then. This is going to be a waste of time. But, you know, we'll, we'll see what it is. We'll see what it's like. You I'll can bite. pause you the to. experience. Pause the experience. Ah, this is the direction display. Oh, you this, oh, An okay. arrow will indicate forward, I, uh, reverse, and busy. neutral no, directions. So yeah, I know they had issues with this it. This is the power display. I think there was a load of scenery stuff. A number will Maybe indicate what problems, position so. the power control is in. These are brake indicators. They show the state of the various brake systems, allowing independent management of them. In the top right are the signal and speed limit no, displays. The speed limit, These yeah. feature the are yep. an indication of what is approaching okay. and a countdown okay. distance to when this they will so come into effect. Like I say, I quite like his voice, but he's so slow. Golly. This Both train is ready to go. <laughs> just, just put them Push off the again. indicated Yoink. handle for forward. Forward? Are you, are, you, are you sure about that? I mean, I'll push it forward, this but we ain't going to go the Cornish main line runs for roughly 44 miles and runs commuter services
between Penzance and St Austell. It also covers commuter services along the St Ives branch line. This particular train is the BLR class 150-2 diesel multiple unit in regional railways livery and consists of two cars. Train Sim World 2 allows you to ride and drive from a selection of camera views. Let's take a look now while exploring this train. Okay, so, so yeah. I wish the guy was a lot, was, um, spoke quicker, I really do. But, um, I actually think this guy might be the best, um, oh wow, okay. Oh wow, okay. You fix the issues, yes? You can't get the marker and the tail lights right. Okay then. Oh, we're going all the way. I oh, know we're not. Depends on single box. Lovely. I've never actually been to so I can't find on the end. Just how pretty it looks. Ooh, we're changing track, are we? Okay, that's the thing that's happening. With the depth line first. Return to first person. No, I don't want to. It's quite a pretty route, I'm not going to lie. Apparently they've, they've done something with the sea visuals. I, 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 I don't, I don't see it, to be honest. Do you get it? But what, what? But did somebody drop an oil, a barrel of oil in this river or something? That's what it looks like. Let's go. We're not supposed to go. Okay. Explore the small <laughs> area. Like, nah, forget it. So let's you, take a look at what else there is to enjoy. What is that car? Is that actually a real car? Welcome to the West Cornwall. Oh, and now it's Take control Hellston. of moving commuters, because, tourists yes, across gorgeous not? Cornish scenery, plus lapping waves on beautiful yeah. coastal beaches, through scenic countryside to bustling towns, exploring the St Ives branch line and local industry. Make sure to refuel and use the carriage washers. Along the way, don't forget to place route maps, place luggage on the carts, enjoy an ice cream, and put up posters. This is the West Cornwall local. Oh, and we've got floating, um, floating lines in the road as well. Lovely. Because why wouldn't we have them? Anyway, I'm going to, uh, go to main menu. And then we're going to do the, uh, St. Ives branch. Because that's supposed to be sort of the pinnacle of the route. So we need to have a look at this, I think. Right. Now, let's explain what's happened here with the services. So, by default, you'll get this. The class 37-5 and the class 150-2. However, if you have the um, the Northern Trans Pennine route, Trans Pennine route, of course, you will actually get services for the 101, the 08, the 40, the uh, 45, and the 47. So it's nice to have them. A lot of people have been complaining that half of these trains have never actually run anywhere near this place. Or, at least they were, they weren't around, um, oh nice. Wait, hang on, rail freight. Yeah, okay, it is alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, no. A lot of people were saying that half these trains were even never ran down here. Or we're gone by the time the route's set anyway, so let's go, uh, we're gonna go July, I reckon. We'll go July. 31 degrees? Flipping heck, okay, fair enough. Right, um, we want a midday service, I reckon. Forget rush hour for now. Let's just do a quick, a quick, uh, jaunt up the St. Ives to St. Erif branch. You know what, actually, we'll go both ways. It's not a very long run. We do St. Earth, I think it's Earth, isn't it? St. Earth to St. Ives, and then we'll go back to St. Ives from St. Earth. Or, what? The uh, You know, we'll do one way and then we'll do the other way. <laughs> that, that, that's the thing that we'll do. Why not? Uh, begin. Right, okay. Cool. Um, first thing that we need to unlock the doors. Get that all set up first, though. Are you 
sure about that? Train? Uh, uh, are, are, you, are you sure? Are you sure about that? Hang on, let's put the cab light on. TPWS. Why does it energize the AWS then, eh? Train lights to be pushed on. Uh, preheat. Oh, you can't press preheat. Really? What else have we got? Heating on, off. Well, I think uh, 37 degrees. I don't think we need any uh, heating. Oops, I closed the door in my face. That's not it. Uh, crew lights. Is there anything in here? Oh, there's actually no... There's nothing in here. Okay. I'm not too worried about being late, by the way. Uh, I just want to... Want to see what, what what's with this train? To be honest, I don't think it. Oh, there's actually. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Nice. Yeah, crew likes that one then. Nice. I like the animation. To be fair, the uh, the fade in and out. The uh, the actual texture doesn't seem to change quite in line with how I'd expect it to. Uh, put the camera back on. That works, now that works. I, I don't really understand the window. Oh, you can actually, uh... You can actually put... Okay, so there's a sudden change in audio at 75% there. There's no... There's no in-between. Like, it gets louder progressively. Oh, you can see the destination by manually. They've not given us a lot of destinations though, have they? I mean, they should have future proofed you a little bit, should they not? Uh, is this an eye? I think it's an eye we're going to. Right, um, sit back down. Oh yeah, let's have a look inside first, I guess. Oh, we've got some, uh... Work. That's a shame. Wipers. The offside. Uh, ooh, okay. The modeling's lovely, to be fair. Huh. Okay. No sound from it whatsoever. Intriguing. Intriguing indeed. Oh, we got some of the uh, seat cuts. Up the uh, ladder, and you open the doors. Oh my goodness, you can actually open the doors. Thank goodness they actually uh, did that. Oh, they, that's okay. That's, uh, that's quick. Okay, if I, uh, let's jump down off of this wagon and let's open that. Is there any visual difference? Maybe. Maybe it's hard to tell. Close that again. I can't see any difference. There must be a difference though. I wonder if you've got um if you've got ballast in the wagon if it'll actually um do the thing. Oh, uh, hi! Hi then! Just this just, just all spawn in at once. Yeah, sure. Oh look, oh look, I can't resist. Yay! And also... Too much. Oh, they've actually changed it now! It actually says collected! It doesn't say added anymore when you actually take them away. Like it did on the other white route. But, uh, it actually works properly now. Okay, fair enough. There's a look in the interior anyway. Uh, very dark. Very dark. Oh, well, this is where the sideways seat should be. Nice, nice. To be fair, to be fair, on um, rivet. <laughs> why? What? Uh, why? If, if 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 anyone can actually spot the problem with this. Then please, 
Why is the 150 in Great Western Railway livery when Great Western Railway livery wouldn't appear for another 35 odd years? Like seriously, what the actual? I love it, okay, it's very lucky. It's a shame the map's on its side. That's a really weird way of displaying the country. But I guess it had to be uh, done that way. Because of how it's portrayed. That's not a lot of leg room. Can you imagine having to sit here? It's been a long time since I've been on a one to be fair. the emergency uh, happened. No, this is actually some really top class bottom, to be fair. Just some of the texturing is a bit questionable. Okay. Okay, I'm a bit small. A bit short, you know. Okay, I can get on board with the modeling, sir. Nothing wrong with the modeling whatsoever. No toilet, that is a problem with the mod. Yeah, okay. I can get on with that, to be fair. You know. Right, uh, anyway. Let's, uh, let's jump to it. Sorry, person, I'm just gonna, uh, come through into this bit. Close half, door half. What, what, what's a full, what's full then? Ser seriously, what is full? If that's half, I can only get it up to 69%. I can only get it up to 69%. That's interesting. Uh, anyway, let's um, uh, let's do this thing. Um, lock. Okay, the things get stuck. I'm sure they normally get stuck, don't they? Huh, okay. Wow. Wow. W O W. You actually can't make this up. Actually cannot make this up. Oh my god. If you're buying this because you want to know what our 150 sounds like, seriously, look at YouTube. There are videos for free out there. What is going on? Like, actually, actually, who? Who at, at, at flipping rivet or even dovetail thought these sounds sounded even remotely acceptable? Like no disrespect to the person who made them, but at the same time, this is a new level of. Yeah, okay. Okay, whatever. Whatever it is, what it is. Uh, nothing will ever be done about it. BCG or whoever else need making products that can't stop! What the heck? That is, that is some uh, very unresponsive um, breaking there. That, that needs to be, uh, to be fixed. Breaking is actually the only decent sound this train has. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. The brake squeal. The doors sound nice. Um. Okay. We're supposed to stop. 
I'm assuming, because I know this line has request stops. These sounds make me want to get my ears and What the heck? Especially the flat squeal. What actually is that? Like, seriously. <laughs> I, I can only assume that they couldn't get to a real 150 and thus had to synthesize the sounds. Like, not even um, Thompson Interactive when they make the original 150, which must be getting on for 10 years old now. Certainly got to be... Yeah, no, no, it's got to be about 11 years, 11, 12 years, I reckon, now. Not even that had sounds this bad. Literally. Literally. They were making sounds better than that. Back in them days. For the exact same train. A couple of these sounds sound like AP sounds. And then the rest are just... I don't think any of them are MP sounds, actually. The only thing that could possibly be AP on this train, actually. I, I was thinking the brakes rule, but after that, I'm not convinced. The only thing that could possibly be is that. The door button. Or the door. Literally. And even that's not quite right. You can just use the button. You can use the button. Nice. Uh, and yeah, I'll shut myself out again. But, okay. Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Honestly? <laughs> Honestly, words cannot describe this. This is a surreal experience, and not in a good way. I actually do not want to drive the train back. <laughs> Maybe I'm being a bit harsh on them. But come on. Oh yeah, we need to try to compress the speed up actually, don't we? See if that's any better. <laughs> okay, fan, fan works. The modeling is honestly stellar. It's an incredible. It's, a, it's an amazing job they've done with it. It really is. I love it. The route, I'm not even really being paying much attention to the route. This train is just a distraction. It's just a straight up a distraction. Wow. Wow. Brute doesn't actually look too bad, let's be honest. I've certainly seen worse. Um, some of the colours are look, look a little bit dark, so I like it to be honest. Um, a bit deep. But there's a lot of grass and a uh, sort of floor and uh, all that kind of stuff. So I've got to commend them for that. I do like a bit of the floor. There's a massive hole in the beach there. Wait, is that? Hang on, 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 hang on a second. Is this supposed to be full of water? Is that supposed to be an estuary that leads out? Or is that actually like that? Please tell me that is actually like that. And that's not just an obvious truth. Please. I oh, want to hit the floor back. There's never some movie going on there. I can't hear it too well due to the engines. Um, Well, the movie isn't too bad, actually. I've definitely seen better, but I've definitely seen worse. I don't particularly feel like 
I mean an actual real world place. And maybe that's just the immersion of the train. Maybe if I drove something that was actually decent here. I might get a feeling of uh, more accomplishment, sort of thing. I still don't understand why they had to get the, uh, why they managed to get the Department of Transport license, and yet they couldn't get the Great West. I'm assuming the DFT license is for the regional railway. But, you know, I, I, and I also get that maybe Great West have all made absolutely nothing to do with this. And to be perfectly honest, I, I actually don't like them. I really don't. The sound is abysmal. I, I, know, I know, I know I should probably be more like, positive about it. The route, the route is nice, I, I, I must admit. Don't be complaining in some areas, don't be repetitive. But it's actually nice, there is stuff going on. I can't see any areas so far that have got to be left too badly for people who's rich without fence inside of it, but you know. So can we have more breaking though? The more we've got the break. That would be nice. I mean, maybe after I've driven it a few times, I'll get into the window. And there's a good stop. Oops. That wasn't what I wanted to do. That wasn't what I wanted to do either. I wanted to get rid of the stopping distance. There we go. I don't want stopping markers. Look at that. You can't tell me what to do, boy. Hang on a second, they're not even rushing our passengers, are they? The clothes don't look vibrant enough. Why are they not rush hour passengers? This thing was being developed when rush hour was. So why doesn't that correlate to this? I don't, I don't understand. It would make more sense to be perfectly honest with you to uh, have it rush hour passengers, though. Now they've got to go back and update it later. I love also how they've had to uh, add departure boards to all the stations, and yet they don't work. I love it. It's, it's crazy. When it was first announced, I really want. I really thought this was going to be a good. And then we found out it was going to be regional railways and that we were going for the cheap cop out um, against licensing. And it's like, eh, okay, not too interested anymore. But, you know, it might be cool. And. Yeah. Honestly, guys, save yourself the bother. I wouldn't even buy this on sale unless it's like a tenner. In fact, I wouldn't even know about that. I'm sure we'll get some sound mods in at some point. Um, I'm sure there'll be some people who do that. Because to be honest, there needs to be. This, this train is, is a bit useless now. Also, can we have more uh, brighter lights in the um, brighter point lights in the passenger sort of thing? Because I think it is a bit dark. I know I've got my shader on, but I've never seen uh, trains that never come up this dark. And I do understand that older trains, or in older periods, it wasn't as bright as it is now. But uh, the, the light ratio is still not quite right. But like, when you compare it to the cab, the cab's quite nice actually. There's plenty of sufficient lighting. The saloon, only sort of the top half of the coach is, uh, is actually illuminated. Suggesting that they um, didn't put, that the point light they put in isn't sufficient. Now I know when you add point lights that uh, go out, it also adds um, lighting onto the top of like objects and stuff like bridges and all that but you know I think for the overall effect. Don't don't do an uh, don't do an AP wagons with the um class 315 um sort of nice basically what to say. I 
I get that they don't light up in Star Wars, but it was abysmal the fact that they didn't like, light up anything that they didn't believe or they didn't light up at all. I, I slowly have waited on it. And that was all there in the This is to be. Oh! Oh, 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 Okay, fair enough. We can, uh, we can ride his message. This is a lot of plastic songs. Okay. I'm definitely not seeing any rushing out of so. Well, I suppose we're not the same place. We're the same place where it's going to be going. So. Yeah, I need that now. We're going to go back. What a beautiful sound, eh? Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. So we want to... Off. Unlock master key. Uh, brakes into full service. Throttle off. Tail lights. Headlight off. Oh yeah. I'm almost convinced by that, somehow. Oh, mark a light switch as well, yeah, I get that. I want to sum up the doors. Really? Really? Screw it, we're changing in first. Forget it. It's only going to open, ask us to open them again in a minute, isn't it? So. No. Fruit trolleys, can you... Oh, so how come you can ride the, um, you can ride the, uh, uh luggage car? Oh, it depends on if you can't ride the brute car, okay? You're a bit in love anyway, aren't you? You look a bit fat as well, to be honest. It's a bit wide. Nice, sorry. Nice touch. Long. because I changed it. What? Are they open or closed? I don't know. Locked. Yeah, lock them. Please. Hang on. I don't know what's going on anymore. I, I, I honestly have no idea what's going on anymore. Is this game lag or? Come on. game by, ch by changing it. Is, is, is that actually what happened? Are, 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 we, are, we, are we finding ways to break the game already? Okay, game. Okay. What? What? 
What? Huh? Open! Well, I'm going to the other cab. I'm going to go to the other cab. I'm well confused now. I, I, I'm well confused. This train is an oddity. It, it, it really is an oddity. It does bleeping sirens when the doors open. Don't lock the doors. Open the doors. Right, let me try and it in. Unlock. I, I don't understand. I, I I do not understand at all. Again, room looks nice. Room actually looks so oh, nice. They've actually added some room. It's a shame there's no people here. Ooh, look, hello. It's a snake. Well, normally a flamingo, but that's a snake. Fair enough. Whatever floats your snake. Oh, hello. Oh, that's just a rubbery. No, they're cool. The bleach cards. The bleach cards. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, this is pretty. I like this. It'd be nice if you could walk down this, actually. I bet you can't. No, it just ends. It just ends. A little bit of prettiness, and then, yeah, okay. What are these cars, though? Honestly. Do you remember the, um. The West Somerset Railway? Is that what it's supposed to say? Great Western Express. LMC, I'm not sure what that one is. West Somerset Railway. Great Western Express. Have we seen them all? Wow, I'm I'm amazed. SPG. I'm not sure. I'm not actually sure. Fair enough, I mean, yeah, sure, cool easter egg. <clears throat> there we go, back to Canada's Miss Bay. It's obviously what it looks like, really fast. You can see my mind can be caught in great things in Canada's Bay. Uh, H1 lines, please. H1 lines, thank you. Marcus switch on. Tails off. Let's start your day. I can probably get them out. Oh, well, it's not like there's any other trains around to see us. I think that's the least of our problems anyway at the moment. of the earth because why not? Nah, honestly, this is this, this is actually crazy. But, um, is this the worst route that's actually come for, come out for this game? I know that's a challenge, but I'm actually tempted to say that this is the worst. Well, sorry, not necessarily the worst route, the worst train. Is this the worst train that's ever come out of the trains in world? Again, the modelers did an excellent job. The room builders did a really good job. The sound engineers... <laughs> that's all I have to say on the matter. That's all I have to say on the matter. And I get... Sound recording sessions can be hard to come by, and um, yeah, sorry, now I just thought the uh, the switch was working the wrong way then, but it's uh, I don't know. What, I honestly don't know where this door closed by this. I thought I saw it up there. You know. I 
I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure it's got one somewhere. DLC work, but I'm actually tempted. This is honestly the first Train to Mod DLC that I have seriously been tempted to go and refund on. It really is. Why is it leaping now? Oh. And it's such a shame. The Anna White was so good. It really was. Rivet Games did an amazing job on the Anna White. And I know people were upset because it wasn't long enough. Um, and you know, it wasn't adventurous enough or whatever. But it was it was honestly a lovely route. And it came out right at the right time after me and a few friends had gone to Isle of Wight to ride the um, trains before they left. And it was like fresh in my mind. I was like, yes, I need this. And oh my, what, an, what a drive that is. And in stark contrast, you've got the likes of this. You know, it's nothing against Rivet personally. Rivet have proven in the past that they can build routes. So what happened? That's that's the real question I have here. What happened? Again, I know there was a load of stuff that was uh, was sorted out, um, and to be honest with you, I didn't really care enough for the. Um, development of it once I found out it was a late period. Um, well, say late, the research goes into these things. Is, is, uh, so, it's not late, late. I would have preferred a uh, more but I've got the time. Give us a modern day route, a 150 in Great Western, um, and a HST with some uh, sliding doors. Give us a castle set. That would have sufficed. Or even a, even a, um, even a GWR HST, a normal one sort of thing, would be fine, but a castle set would have been nice because we would have got the, uh, the sliding door coaches. It's not even DSD. What the? That is genuinely not a DSD in this train. Like, we can just casually, hi, hi, I should be up there, I'm your train driver. Nobody's driving the train at the moment. Ha <laughs> ha! I feel really small. I feel really small. <laughs> Especially when I look at their, their heads and their eye lines a little bit higher. We are currently rolling away. It's going to be fun. It's a shame we can't flip down the bolt I mean. We open the door. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, curb your bloody interlock. What about the saloon doors? Okay, they can't be open. Okay, fair enough. I mean, maybe the doors can be open in your life. Some trains will let you open the doors without breaking into lock. And other trains won't. We are doing 45 mile an hour in a, 50, in a 20 zone.
yes, yeah, so I didn't pay full sale price for it. 10% off on the uh, normal. Um, and, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, th I think, to be honest, I think you've heard enough of people stopping now about, um, about this route to make your mind up. Please, if you disagree and you really think it's the best thing, and you think it's the best thing to, uh, to, to ever come out of, uh, of uh, Doctor Games and uh, Rivet, then please, by all means, let me know. I would love to hear if there's anybody who absolutely loves this crew that's going to drive it all the time. But for me, I can't get behind him, I'm afraid. How do I get behind him? why it's doing door closed sirens when it opens. It wasn't doing that earlier. Gee, the old car suddenly stopped trick. Wee bonk. Oh, it flies as well. It's a Harry Potter car. And there's no interior whatsoever. Where's the train anyway? That's uh Why do all the passengers spawn once you close the doors as well? One more left, thank goodness for that. If we get a nice and hard pack for this, uh, this train, then you know what? Maybe I'll actually drive it. If, it, if, it uh, if something comes out for this train, um, that actually makes it want, makes it drivable, because right now it is drivable, let's just say. It, it's, it's straight up not drivable. If something comes out with the audio, that makes this thing drivable, then I'll try and make another video. I'm not going to promise anything because you know how much my upload schedule is not existent. But, you know, if something does come along, I will try and make a video and hopefully it's good enough that it actually makes this thing drivable. Right now, I'm afraid I can't get behind this train. In all seriousness, I do actually think that this could be worst product that's ever been released in this game. But yeah, the, the route the route's great. You know, the route is nice. There's some basic senior scenery errors, such as fence missing, and if this is supposed to all be full of water, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna um come down too hard on them for that though, because um that might be intentional, maybe it's not filled with water. This has definitely got to be a request stop. And there are people here, so... Might as well stop, I suppose. If I've got time. Oh, okay, so you just never get anybody, anybody uh, get on the train then. They don't recognise us here. Fair enough! <coughs> Let's get out of here then. Any search of the imagination. You know, like I say though, the modelling is great. I've got no problem with the modelling. It's just the, the sounds. The sounds honestly make me make me not want to drive this thing. I really don't. Yeah, 
again, the route is lovely. I actually quite like the route, even though it's a bit dark. But again, the darkness might be to do with my um, my shaders though, or my uh, my enhancements to the game. Really, I should actually do these videos um, without any enhancements on. I need to remember to actually turn. No, I need to remember to actually turn the enhancements um, off. So I have a, I have a safe copy of um, pre-enhanced game, so we can see what it looks like. So realistically, I need to um, I need to crack that out so we can actually see what it looks like out of the box. This isn't quite out of the box. It's uh, got the ambient occlusion um, to the um, mod to it as well. So I think how I've got to explain it every time. Too. Nice, is stupid. I got a gold medal for that, despite I just let it run away down a hill. Oh wow, okay. I'm, I, I, I'm really going to leave it here. I have honestly no desire to continue this. I really don't, I'm afraid. I'm just gonna do that. Oops, that was a mistake. Do that. Do that. And now my lights have gone out. Interesting. I'm just gonna run away. Pretend this never happened. I think. I. Uh, if we can get if we can get enhance enhance a pack of some description for it, great. Thank you. If not, uh, yeah, I, I'm not interested. I'm not. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, it was definitely a product when it was announced that I wanted to like, and it, it just, it just plain and simply is not one I can like at all. So, you know, this is why I play it, so you don't have to. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. We're gonna stand on this trolley and uh, just, 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 just stand here. Not escape the roof of the station. So please, please, Rivet, do something about this mess, please. Please. I'm begging you. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye!